Hey, my name's Liam Chapman and welcome to Compost Rhythms. I've always had an interest in using the sounds of nature to create my own rhythms with the raw organic materials that we have around us. If we sit and listen carefully, even better with our eyes closed, within seconds we can hear music all around us by the natural rhythms of everyday life. Things such as bird and animal calls, twigs breaking, trees and the breeze, and water. It's also really fun to use natural elements we can pick up ourselves to recreate these sounds or our own original compost compositions. I thought I would share with you how to do this. Location. Firstly, we need to find somewhere outdoor. Could be a forest or a park. Could uh, even be your back garden or just anywhere really where you can find outdoor materials. Instruments. Now it's time for us to find natural objects and materials around us that we can use to start making our musical instruments. Here are some ideas. Logs. Pine cones. Stones. Twigs and branches. Leaves. Water. Seeds, bark, any other surface, metals, or even receptacles. You name it. Sometimes the sounds can come quite easily, other times it can be a little bit more tricky, where you almost have to use your object and learn it as a, an instrument in itself, and where you, you sort of like learn about its uh, strength, its weight, the texture or its predictability. So really just um, experiment with your instrument and you can try and make as many different sounds from one object as you possibly can. Create. Now we want to come up with our own music. So we're gonna create our own rhythms or continuous movements. Um, they can be as minimal and simple as you like or they can be as complicated as you like. For example, we can just have four beats that we can use as our pulse. Just play them continuously. One, two, three, four. And you can double it up. And you can incorporate other sounds. Here we go. So another thing we can do is use syllables from words. And um, I'm going to use the words branch falling from a tree for this rhythm. So branch has one syllable, falling, two, and from a tree has three. So if you join them all together, branch falling from a tree, branch falling from a tree, branch. From a tree. And then there's obviously a little gap there. Branch falling from a tree. Branch falling from a tree. So you can fill in the gap. So we're going to fill it. Two clicks. Branch falling from a tree. Twig lit. Branch falling from a tree. Twig lit. There's a little beat that we have. So then you take away your words with your mouth. Here are some extra ideas. Use all four of your limbs and incorporate your body. Try to make a call and answer, like birds, using two instruments with another person. Use sticks as beaters. Make your own instruments, for example, a shaker or a grass trumpet. Collaborate with your friends. Use two different sounds combined together or against each other. You can even play your own rhythms over your pre-recorded nature sounds to create a soundscape. Dynamics. Now we want to think about dynamics and the way that we play our instruments. So have a little think, what kind of sound would you like to create? 
smooth, scratchy, hollow, squeaky, metallic, flowing, swooshy, crunchy, crackly, crocodile-y. Other things we can think about are whether the music is quiet or loud. We can also make it quiet too loud or vice versa, loud to quiet. We can also think about the speed. Would you like it to be slow in its pace or really fast? Um, also, we could just stick to the kind of continuous steady beat of the pulse or the music could be more free flowing. So what can we do? Do we scrape together, tap, break, drop, swirl, rub, shake, click, whip, knock, drag, slap, or stomp? You can think about any of these ideas or create your own. A good tip we can follow is to divide our rhythms into three different tones. We can have a bass tone, just low, a mid medium tone and a higher pitch tone. So for example I have found a tree stump here for my bass tone. Um, for our medium frequency this object is a bit of bark that I kind of use for a clapping sound. I'm going to use that to make my main rhythm. And then I've got a branch and I'm going to hit that off leaves um, as the kind of higher frequency tone on the top use this to kind of decorate your music with um, anything high pitched you can sort of use for subtle textures or timekeeping. There's not really any right or wrong way it's just um, yeah just be as creative as you can. One, two, three, four. I hope that gives you some inspiration for your own music. There's just three rules to remember. Firstly, be careful what you pick up. Don't prickle yourself or drop anything heavy on your fingers. Number two, be respectful to your new instruments and to the nature around you. And number three, just be as creative as you can and have fun. We would love to see what creations you've come up with, so please send us your videos or recordings of your compost rhythms. Thanks. Bye.